Hello. Welcome to another repair video. In this video, I have a cheap Bluetooth speaker with a broken charging port. At a glance, you can see the broken twisted pins inside. I am going to replace the charging port. It's very easy to disassemble this kind of cheap Bluetooth speaker. I have to remove two screws that hold the control panel where the charging port is. The panel should be taken out carefully because it is necessary to disconnect some cables. It's very important to remember the correct position of the cables. I do not want to connect the cables in the wrong position later and I have to put everything together. Making wrong connections could damage the device. This is the most common damage on these cheap Bluetooth speakers. One of the wires is soldered to the board. Therefore, I have to desolder the cable to separate the board and work comfortably. I loosen the two screws and separate the board from the front panel plastic. For this kind of product, the quality of the solder and the parts is not very good. I remove the potentiometer knob. This was the last thing holding the board. Now, I can separate the plastic and the board. With the hot air station, I heat the board and with tweezers, I push the charging port gently to separate it from the board. For a board like this, I usually set the hot air station to 360 degrees Celsius. When the solder melts, the connector will come out easily. Now I combine leaded solder with the lead-free solder on the board. This solder is an alloy that is 63% tin and 37% lead. The melting point of this solder is 183 degrees Celsius. This temperature is lower than the temperature required for lead-free solder used in electronics factories. With a soldering wick, I remove the old solder on the board. When I add leaded solder to the board, I can work at a lower temperature. And it's easier to clean the solder on the board with a soldering wick. My soldering station is set to 360 degrees Celsius. Then I cleaned with a cotton swab and isopropyl alcohol. The remaining flux residue is already a little burnt. And the more burnt the flux is, the more it sticks to the board and the harder it is to clean. Now I place the charging port, making sure it's centered. And make sure the pins are correctly aligned too. I apply a little bit of flux on the pins and the places to be soldered. The solder I use also has a flux core. In the middle of the solder wire, there is flux. The flux helps to clean the oxidation and impurities on the surfaces where we are going to solder and therefore better bond the parts together. That is why it is important to use good quality flux and solder. I use the original Amtec 559. A 30 cubic centimeters tube costs about 30 US dollars, but it is enough to do hundreds of quality jobs. This requires a little more flux to solder the connector pins. Then I clean the area with isopropyl alcohol. and more flux to solder these. It is good practice to solder with the temperature as low as possible, but enough to make a good solder joint. The higher the temperature, the faster the flux burns. 
Burned flux sticks to the board and is more difficult to clean. Here we have burnt flux, stuck to the board, and we can see that the cotton swab with isopropyl alcohol does not remove it. To clean it, I scrape it a little with a scalpel. I don't use much force, because I don't want to scrape the green mask that covers the board. I clean the area with a cotton swab soaked in isopropyl alcohol. Now, I can reassemble everything. With the board fixed, I insert the board into the plastic of the front panel. It's time to put the potentiometer knob on. There are two screws that I have to tighten to hold the board in place. As always I add some flux on the board to solder the wire. This will help to make good bonding so the cable will not come loose. Now I can connect the wires to the corresponding connectors. With everything in place, I can insert the control panel back into the speaker. Now, I have to tighten the two screws. I can finally connect the cable and see if the speaker is charging. You can see the red light charging indicator on the right of the charging connector. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you, and see you in the next video.